Specimen G is granite seedling. Okay, that has stayed for one week, seven days. Specimen H is maize seedling that has also stayed for one, okay, one week. Okay, uh, let's just extrapolate questions that will come out from here. Okay, They're very simple between H and G. A lot of things that that is very quite similar between these two. Now, let's start with our specimen G, which is gran granite seedling. Okay, granite seedling. Granots, granots, seedling, seedlings, okay, which is a dicot, it belong to dicot plants, okay, then maize seedling, maize seedling, seedlings, belong to monocots, okay, monocot plants. Okay, so that is uh, basically. So now we're going to look at germination here. There are two types of germination. Germination can either be hypogeal or epigeal. So you have to check the two of them which one is hypogeal and which one is epigeal. Okay, now specimen G being granots, G for granots, H for me. So these are sound alike. Okay, so now in this, okay, let me start with our. Uh, let me start with a granite seedling. This is the first thing. Type of germination for granites. Basically, type of germination. Germination in specimen. In specimen G. In specimen G. Granite seedling. Okay, it does appear that the cotyledon, that is the seed of granite of granules, the seed of granules. If this is the soil level for for granules, and this is the soil level for maize, it appears that the seed of granules, the cotyledon, appears to be above. The cotyledon appears. To be above, the cotyledon appears to be above. Okay, appears to be above. Appears to be above the soil level. Look at the soil. Okay, look at the soil. And then look at the soil here. And then you now have this going down. Okay. So that is what you have here. Then for for me seedling, it does appears. It does appears. This is the stages. This before you have the soil here, the stages the seed goes. The seed keep on going like this. Before you know it, it comes here. So here, the seed goes like this, like this, like this. Then it doesn't stay above. It stays more underneath okay stays underneath and before you know it is you now start seeing the leaves see the leaves see and then some kind of growth here okay so it means that when you have a germination in which the seed is above above the soil level above the soil level it is called this is the type of germination here in G is simply called epigeal. So this is a class of epigeal germination. Why for me its type is since it's below it is called high pogeal germination. So these are the two type of germination. Please take the map. So for 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 granite it is epigeal. For maize it is hypogeal. I repeat for Granots is a pigeon for maize is hypogeal. I have to say it three times for granot a pigeon, maize hypogeal. Now, there is reason for why this germination is this way. Okay, it appears that in a pigeon, in a pigeon, the so called hypocotyl. Now, this a pigeon relates to hypocotyl. Why this 
hypogene relate to AP cortical. Okay. Are you with me now? So in this case, it does appear that since since the means is down, since the seed is down, it means that the epicotin grows up. And then here, hypocotin grows down. Grows down. That is the hypocotin it grows down. Okay. Hypocotin grows down. So this is epigeal. This is hypogeal. So take note. Once the seed is above the ground, the ground not, it is epigeal. And this is hypogeal. Please take note of this. Take note of this. This is the type of germination. Then the next question that will be now will be now class. Classification of these two. So to classify these two. Into let me start with granite first. Granite, the kingdom division. This is plant division. I think I'm going to have subdivision. Subdivision. Superclass and then plants. Let me start with specimen. Specimen G. Kingdom is planted. Planting. Okay. It's a vascular plant, so division is trachy, trachy, fighter. A vascular plant. So the reason why it is classified as division, trachy, fighter, because it's vascular plants. Okay, subdivision here is spermatophyta. Spermatophyta. Okay, you see plant. Then super class here. Okay. Spermatophyta superclass here is angiospermia. Angiospermia. That is a flowering, a flowering or enclosed, well enclosed. And then the class, or not, is di, di, di cotyledon. Di cotyledon. Okay, example, or not. Example, other examples apart from granules that belongs to this class dicotyledion can mention beans okay can mention uh, beans can also uh, mention some other uh, legume so yeah you know this is a uh, class that are dicot they're mostly like uh, called legumes okay but if you do the same for maize they are the same for maize the same plant here for maize now tratrophyte spermatophyte and just plain because the seed and why Granol belong to the class that I call it because the seed can split into two half, okay, two seeds, two seeded plants, maize one seeded. So here it will now be monocotyledon for class, monocotyledon. So this is maize. Another example. Other examples of monocot plants apart from maize seedling is millet. Okay, uh, millet rice belongs to Monocots. Now let's look at the class of food that these two belongs. This G belongs to legumes. Legumes. Okay? Belongs to legumes. Okay? The class of food or the food types of the G belongs. The G is legumes. Legumes are most likely proteinous uh, food. Then why specimen H belongs to cereals? Cereals, cereals, okay, cereals, legumes, cereals, legume, cereals, specimen G are known for their proteins. They give protein, they are proteinous food. Why specimen H is carbohydrates? Function of protein, the one that gives protein, which is specimen G, function of protein, it repairs one out tissue, okay. Is a source of um, enzymes, hormones, okay, are all made from protein. Okay, then cereals, which is maize. What is the function of the food class to which cereals belong, which is carbohydrate? It is an energy giving food. It is eaten by most animals due to its energy giving, energy booster. So these are the common questions that they're gonna be expecting in this uh, specimen H. And specimen world G. When it comes in terms of uh, um, similarities, okay, similarities, 
they are all similar based on the fact that they are all tracheophytes, they are all spermatophytes, okay? Or tracheophytes, they are vascular plants. You may not use this word, but you can use the word, they are both vascular plants. They are both seeded plants, okay? They are both flowering plants, okay? They are both plants that bear seed. So, but when we come to differences now, like, and I mentioned the two seeded leaf, okay? So this one is one seeded leaf and the other one two seeded leaf, okay? When we come in terms of their leaf structure, the blade, the structure of the leaf, you now say that this one has a kind of a, a kind of grass, a, a grass family that has parallel venation, while this one has a net um, venation. These are the differences and the similarities between specimen H and specimen. Please take note of the germination. Germination. Very important. Germination. For this, it is a PG. A PG. A PG means that the seed is up. Hypogee means that the seed appears to be what? Down. Very important. Okay. The next we're going to be looking at is specimen I and G. Also.